Hello there my YouTubers, what is up? And I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Um, today I'm going to show you guys a little bit of how to um, best export your videos to YouTube. Um, as this was, was a request by one of my viewers whose channel is right there. So if you want to check them out, that'd be very cool. So yeah, let's just get started, shall we? Alright, so once you have your video um, all edited and stuff, what you want to do is you want to come up here to File, and then Export, and then we're going to be using QuickTime Conversion. QuickTime Movie is good, especially um, if you don't have um, a certain limit. Because if we come over here to um, YouTube.com and we look at the limits for what you can upload, um, it can be high definition, um, but 2 gigabyte in size is the limit, which um, doesn't give you a whole lot of space, especially for um, 1080 HD video. Um, and it can also be up to 10 minutes in length, which, you know, it, that's kind of like your own thing. <laughs> so. Yeah, once you have that video all um, edited, in, that's kind of an embarrassing picture. Let's, let's get back. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so once you do that, um, and they have it all edited, come up here to File, Export, then QuickTime Conversion. Now, as far as the format goes, QuickTime Movie is by far, as by far the most widely used among editing systems as well as on the web. So, don't usually go for anything else besides QuickTime Movie unless you're trying to export to your iPhone or your iPod. So we'll hit options, and then um, also QuickTime Movie is going to give us the most widely, um, I guess the most features for what um, the compression can be. So first off, let's go to the size of the video. Now this is going to be the most important part in my personal opinion. Um, right now YouTube does um, support 1080 HD video, however um, because of most people's internet connections are not the best, as well as YouTube can sometimes be a little slow. Um, it's not the best because a lot of the times the frame rate gets um, dropped or it takes a while to load. So I would recommend just going with 720 HD. Um, although if you do export in 1080, um, YouTube does give the viewer the option of 720 HD. So I say go with 20 HD, 720 HD. Um, letterboxing, don't do, much, don't do um, that with stuff with that because that's just going to kind of pretty much crop your video on the top and bottom. Um, if you're working in a um, 1080i or 720i, um, you might want to go with um, de-interlacing your video, um, which pretty much just makes it as a progressive scan. But I don't really do anything with that, even though my video is a, um, or my camera is a 1080i. So we'll just hit OK. And now settings is probably where you have the most flexibility with your compression. Video compression type, don't do anything besides um, H.264. This is what YouTube recommends, and it's just a very nice compressor. Compression. Compressor. There we go. <laughs> I struggle with my words. Um, but it's um, you know it gives you a very small file size and very nice um, video quality. So leave it at that. Frame rate, don't do anything besides your current frame rate or what your camera captures in because if you do anything more or less, the video is just going to look choppy. Keyframes, every 24 frames, leave that as it is. Um, quality of the compressor, there really isn't that much um, big of a difference between high and best, especially for working in 1080. The only thing that you can really see a difference of is um, the edges of your words. If you got some text um, in your video, um, if you put it up at best, a lot of the edges, the edges of the text is going to work. It's going to look very nice and very clean. However, um, it's going to greatly increase the file size. So I recommend just going with high quality, um, especially if we're working in 1080. If you're working in 720, you might want to go with best. Um, but even then, I'd just say high because you know it still looks nice and HDified. Um, as soon as you start kind of going towards the medium section, the overall video quality, um, you can definitely see a difference of um, how clean the HD is. So I recommend just staying around the high. Um, data rate, do it as an automatic so your computer can think about the um, proportional gigabits per second. Uh, encoder, best quality, um, multivas, so we'll just leave it as that is. Now filters is probably something that you don't want to mess with that much unless you're um, thinking about importing your project into a different editing system such as Adobe After Effects. So um, what it does is pretty much just applies a filter to your whole entire video. Um, it can be a blur or it can be um, just kind of a sharpen or any sort of a special effects with um, color styles. So let's just leave nothing as it is. Um, come down here to sounds, we definitely want to export that. Format, um, either AAC or linear PCM, just my, those are my personal recommendations. However, um, you can choose any of these really. Um, linear PCM is very widely used and it's just kind of the default by um, Final Cut. Um, YouTube supports it and just about everything else on the web. 
channels, you definitely want to go with the stereo left and right because if you go with the mono, what that means is all the sound is going to be coming out of the speakers equally and there's not going to be any panning, which is it's going to make all the sounds sound very, um, I guess, just kind of muddy. And it's pretty much like if you throw everything on top of each other and you don't kind of spread it out, it's just going to sound like not clean. Um, even the cheap cameras today, they have a stereo microphone and um, Final Cut actually export, um, imports all your footage with um, stereo audio, so leave that as a stereo. Render settings, quality, I just say normal. Um, there really isn't that much of a difference between the audio, especially if you got like little PC speakers or something. So I say just go with normal. Um, it doesn't really change your file size at all, but if you want to, if you feel like going the extra mile, you can go with best. Um, sample size, leave it at 16 bits, um, and little endian for um, the Linear PCM, because it's like the only option. So we'll hit OK. And then um, as far as preparing for internet streaming, definitely go with the fast start. Don't go with anything else. What this um, allows you to do is the first few seconds of the video is going to be loaded um, very quickly, and then the rest of the video is going to be loaded as you watch it. So pretty much as soon as you um, open up the page with the video, it's going to start to load and you can instantly see it. While some of these other um, ones, it's just gonna like you have to wait a while for it to like mostly load and then you can watch it. So just go with the fast start. Then we're pretty much done. Um, we can just come up here and name it, and we can save a location, the desktop or our movies folder. And then once we're done exporting, we can come over here to YouTube.com, and then um, hit this lovely upload button, and it'll take you to this page. Um, it changes um, kind of frequently just because YouTube um, constantly updates it. Um, connect to your Twitter or Facebook accounts, and then hit, we'll hit upload video. Now we just kind of fi uh, find the file, hit select, and then we just um, fill out the title and the description and the tags. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video about how to export your video best to YouTube. Um, I hope it, um, it helped out my viewer who requested this video. So I will see you guys on Wednesday with an iWeb tutorial. Um, it's a pretty special one and you guys don't want to miss it. Um, pretty cool announcement that I'm I want to make. And then on Friday also Final Cut tutorial. So I'll see you guys then. So ta-ta for now.